here ready to go. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is just put them in this bowl. And then I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna throw some truffle oil in there. Just roll them around. We're not gonna do anything too fancy with them. Just roll them around. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with my seasoning. Uh, be aware, this is coming soon. We've had some hiccups, but we're getting there. So we'll go ahead while they're in this bowl, just go ahead, drop that season on top. All right, we'll go ahead, put them back on the plate. They're nicely seasoned. And don't worry about that bottom part. That's just the bone. You don't have to worry about seasoning a bone. All right, so we got everything all seasoned up. We'll go ahead and meet you outside at the char griller so we can put these bad boys on the smoker. All right, so our coals are ready to go. I'll go ahead and dump them inside of here. And then we'll put some more of this in here. Now, I don't usually use this stuff, but that's all they had at the Home Depot that I went to. So we'll go ahead and throw a couple of these on top. All right, so we have that all settled in. Let's go ahead and put a big mesquite log on top of there get that off in there and then we'll be ready to go now one thing i will say is uh, this kingsford you know different styles or different flavors of charcoal it doesn't work it doesn't make your food taste any different i just have it because i went to home depot which is literally i stay across from home depot and they had the two bags i didn't want two bags i just wanted one and this is all the one bags they had so don't buy it. it it's it's not worth it all right we are sitting at 250 this is right where we want to be this is absolutely perfect all right fam we have our short ribs ready to go on this smoker we're just gonna put these bad boys right up here so there we go we're gonna go ahead this is gonna take a couple hours um, maybe maybe close to three or four hours this will take but we will be back once everything is ready to go all right so we're gonna go ahead and get a apple cider mixture together so it's just apple cider and water um, predominantly more of the apple cider than water all right so I have about 12 ounces here we'll go ahead fill the rest of it up with water all right we are two hours in and we have our short ribs we're gonna probably move these back a little bit getting a little char right there on the ends after two hours we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our first uh, spray on here And we're just gonna move these back to the back a little bit just so they don't start burning on us all right All right, so it's been about five hours. I've already pulled the short ribs off of the smoker and let me show you what they look like. All right, fam, just pulled these off of the smoker. These things are just sitting up there looking nice and juicy. Um, so they formed a bit of a bark on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the apple cider right off in here and I'm gonna need a little bit more All right here's some more of that to go right off in there so just taking it right up to the uh, 
the top of the bone, the bottom of where the meat starts. And then, and then we'll go ahead and add some foil on it. All right, so we're back outside and we're just going to put this in here. Now we're going to put it a little bit closer to the fire, uh, to the fire box on this one. All right, so there we go, nice and close. So we're just going to let that sit in there for another, uh, maybe another hour or two, and then we'll be back. All right, family, here we are. We have our short ribs ready. Let's just go ahead and peel the top back on this bad boy. Yeah, they are looking good. That bark has settled in nice on it. So what I did was I uh, opened it up just a little bit after about an hour to let some more of that smoke get off in there. Listen, there is no need to sit here and talk about we'll be back with a taste testing because we're going to do that right now. And I'm just going to, Jesus, man. You, you, you have to look at this. Look, watch, watch this, watch this. Just, just look at it. Just look, it, it just falls right off the bone. Oh man, this is nice and hot too. So I'll just take a little piece. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait one minute. Just just look at this. Just oh man. Oh my lord, man. Look at it. It's just falling apart. Oh man. Mm -mm. Just get one more little piece here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just, you know what? I'm gonna just eat the whole thing. I'm gonna just eat the whole thing. Mm. Folks, I guess that's it. Man, that thing was good, man. Nice and juicy and tender. Man, I can't wait to get into these. So listen, I'm gonna let y'all get out of here real quick. I'm gonna show you how to smoke these bone-in short ribs. It's up to you to get it done from here on out. So I wanna thank you and go ahead, don't forget, hit that like button on your way out. That way the algorithm sees the engagement in it. Send the video out to more people so that they can be on point as well when it comes to smoking these bone and short ribs. And if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you and I want to thank you for coming. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you want to be a part of the family. Don't forget, hit the notification bells. That's the only way you'll be insured of knowing each and every time a new video drops. So folks, listen, this was ultimate and I promise you, if you want to know more about how to smoke different things, go ahead and hit that playlist. So, folks, until the next time we see you, until the very, very next video, as always, family, peace.